Ryan, your very first career Grand Slam, and you almost did it on the pitch before. What adjustment did you make from pitch to pitch? Get a who's this? He sees this. Oh, I'm very excited with that. But, uh, I don't know explain it out. Because of, uh, I wait for that pitch in that moment because I, he missed through one, that pitch, and he want to throw me again, but outside, but he missed, he throw meter, meter. What was that moment like rounding the bases after your first career Grand Slam and you gave the team the lead? I excited, I excited with that. But I see the fans. <laughs> That's incredible for me. Back-to-back <laughs> -back games with home runs. Your very first career home run coming just one game ago. How comfortable are you feeling at the major league level? I thought to, to, to you, like, in, in, in la tarde, que, que te dije que iba a hacer la cosa, sabes, seguía haciendo la cosa buena, ¿me entiendes? Y gracias a Dios salieron los resultados ahí en el juego. He said he's continuing to do the things well, and thank God that yeah. he's continuing to do so. Before we let you go, Brian, you've made some incredible defensive plays, not just tonight, but throughout the game. How much pride do you take in your defense? Hey, I take it like, like one hour for the, my defense. Like, yeah, one hour, and then Shaggy, that, that's, in, that's good for me. That's good. Yeah. And it's paying off because you're doing a great job. Yeah. Thank you so thank much, you, Brian. Okay. Back to you, Jess. <laughs> yeah. It kind of started with uh, they had a cruises home, right? You know, obviously we get down early. Uh, I think we're down four one there, and that kind of jumps it. And then the guys just kept going, you know. From there, you know, we get a big one from Alex Aggie. Uh, Lou continues on. Uh, Jorge continues on swinging the bat good. Mickey's hot still. Uh, obviously, the offense really just kind of on point all night long. Uh, really from the very beginning, even the first run we get, uh, when they get two, gets us right back in the game, gets momentum back on our side, uh, at least for a, a, a minute there. But uh, the offense kind of all day long just kind of rebuilt us. Jordan? Yeah, hey, Donnie, you mentioned uh, meeting Alex Jackson for the first time. Obviously, you've only seen Del Cruz in a game live once. Uh, thoughts on the kids now that you are getting the chance to see him in person. Dela Cruz specifically with a couple of plays defensively as well. Yeah, I mean, and, and I, I feel like I know these guys a lot better than I, you know, just by seeing them short time because I've watched so many. I feel like I've watched them play now all of a sudden, you know, eight, 10 games. So, you know, Dela Cruz, his at bats are, are impressive. Um, his defense seems to be solid in everything he does. He had that one little. Uh, you know, misstep maybe on the over in the ball down the right for nine. Um, but his defense seems to be, you know, right on with his with his kind of routes and and what he's able to do out there. Uh, and Alex is seeing for the first time, you know, I don't realize how physical he is uh, when you watch on TV. It's a lot, you know, ball, that ball gets out to, to left center. Ball's really high. You don't see any of those go out here. That ball just kind of keeps going. And then on the pitching side of what were your thoughts on Lazardo? And then with Morimondo, how much were you trying to get out of him when you had him as first guy out of the bullpen? Yeah, I'm trying to get through the game, uh, quite honestly, um, with, with, with Sean. And it looked like he just got flat that last inning and didn't want to let it get going. And it obviously kept going. Um, so, you know, I, I was trying to, to finish that with him. Uh, Jesus is, you know, to me, very interesting because the stuff is so good. And really, I think probably my thoughts for him are just keep getting better, right? Just keep improving. Uh, I want to get him here, get him out there every you know, fifth, sixth day, however that works out, and just allow him to pitch and improve, pitch and improve, and just kind of continue to work through the end of the season and then be able to take that into the off season. So, um, you know, that, so it's the first time obviously I've seen pitch um, and his stuff obviously is good and just want to kind of get him on a route that you know, keeps him improving and getting better. Danny Alvarez. Yeah, Danny, uh, with, with Jesus, the first couple innings were uh, obviously rough uh, for him, but then when he had the, the 
the run support? What, what did you see different uh, from Jesus? Maybe an adjustment that, that he made and, or something that, that you like from, from the second inning of, until the end of this performance? Yeah, the first time for me to see him other than TV, uh, and you do get a little sense of like he's amped up early on. I think obviously the runs probably help you relax some and just getting a little time in between and just wearing him down a little bit. Uh, but he does seem amped up when he pitches. Uh, it seems like the more he relaxes, the better his stuff gets. And, you know, that's just time, right, for me with, with a guy like that. That's why I say it would be him out there every fifth, sixth day, you know, let him continue to pitch, continue to work, you know, make adjustments in between, keep working, and be able to take that into the winter and have some steadiness and consistency in what we do with him. Ethan. Thanks, Jason. Hey, Donnie. Good to see you again. How are you feeling? I am so side sitting for four hours. Uh, <laughs> how, on, the, how? on the right end of that, so that was good. How, how was it? Like, was it just business as usual today? Was it a little different after the two-week break? And what was it like? How, how happy were you to be back? No, it felt great to be back. I was lost, honestly. It felt like I was just, like, rushing around all day. I felt you know, just kind of out of sorts, uh, honestly, uh, out of my routine. Uh, so hopefully it won't take long. And then right. with, and then with De La Cruz, like Jordan mentioned, you know, did, did you know coming over, did you hear how good he was defensively because he's flashed brilliance out there so far? Uh, not really. You know, I think the, always the first thing you look at is can he hit, right? And so you're looking at the offensive side of that. Um, and have been really, uh, I'd say, pleasant. I don't know if I should be surprised, but I didn't know know enough about him uh, from the defensive side. Um, but it's been a it's been a nice surprise to see him play out there. He seems so sure of himself. You know, that's what that's one thing I've noticed. Uh, that he seems so comfortable uh, in what he's doing.